folks, I had a, a person, I don't think they're a subscriber, maybe they're just someone that visited the website asking about the art and stuff that's behind my head on a lot of these videos. And it's nice that they ask. I'll go ahead and comment about the stuff that's on the walls here. Uh, let me try to show you a little bit of it. And not that, not that it's great. It's certainly not great art and it's weird. I know, I realize it's weird. <laughs> What it is though, just to explain to you what these pieces of art are here, and some of them are better than others. These are kind of the rejects that I don't think are so great. And what I do, I find, um, I find images I like from the Hubble Space Telescope website. And generally, generally they're nebulas, and, and then I try to paint those nebulas, and sometimes I get a little crazy with it. So there are, things in space that look sort of like that they're all acrylics I'll let you zoom I'll zoom in here real good so you can see the brush strokes and stuff there are thousands of brush strokes my technique is not great as I say these are sort of the rejects these are the ones that I, I think I sort of paint some of these things I'll let Nikki look at them and see if she seems to like them or not this looks like like a ghost nebula or something I cannot remember what this one was called and so all those colors are not accurate naturally I mean but they're the, the kind of the best I can do because I start trying to paint these nebulas and then then um, I get frustrated because I can't really do what God does you know <laughs> I can't really make them that good and these are the ones that turned out in my opinion kind of bad <laughs> because either I didn't mix my colors really well or um, or uh, I don't know I just got frustrated in the middle of it but uh, that one actually has texture on it and it uh, I think Nikki didn't like it because she said it reminded her too much of female parts and stuff. I don't know. Maybe so, but yeah, I kind of used some uh, modeling paste and stuff on some of this. And like I say, these are, I just brought them here into the office so they could uh, you know, provide some color to these just old gray or kind of beige looking walls. That's uh, another one I got in this. I just, you know, I just, sometimes I just get frustrated. And so what you're seeing is a lot of frustration in these paintings. And some of them turn out really well. So the ones that turned out well, maybe I'll do that. I'll go back to the house and show you the ones that really look very pretty. There's, uh, if you've seen any of the kind of videos that we do singing, where Nikki's in the living room singing Fleetwood Mac. I think we got one of her doing a uh, landslide. And you, you might see some of those paintings that we thought turned out well up above our TV, above our fireplace and all. So that's just a look at, at these. I have actually sold a number of these though, believe it or not, even the ugly ones, people have bought. They've had some reason to, you know, to buy it. Maybe they, they think it's abstract art, and it is abstract in that the things you see up there in space are kind of abstract, aren't they? So uh, that's uh, people buy them though. It's just, uh, it's amazing, it's, it's weird. That's cool, but that's the answer to what these uh, pieces of art are. They're my paintings and a sequence of uh you know i think i did these 2002 i do a lot of these uh, nebula paintings if you want one hey give me a shout i'll paint you a nebula painting or i'll give you one of these rejects and i won't give it to you i have to actually sell it for something i don't know what i have to think that out but uh, and if you don't want it just don't tell me you don't want it i get why you don't want it <laughs> okay this is actually one of my favorite paintings that uh, yeah, it turned out pretty well, I thought. Um, it hangs out in my studio. I cannot remember which nebula that was, but it was a vertical one, at least in the Hubble Space Telescope image that I had. <clears throat> so that's you know, kind of my opinion of what it turned out decent. And believe it or not, it's a lot of work, folks. I mean, I just paint and paint and paint and paint and layers and layers and layers and layers and try to create that uh, effect. And so above our uh, television, we have this one, which was kind of a swirling sort of thing that I found on, uh, on the Hubble Space Telescope site. Once again, it's hard to get the light just right. We have these lights up here in the ceiling. You know, if I go walk somewhere else in the room, that will totally change the look of it, Will. So yeah, that's a pretty big one there. It's, I think it's a 55 inch television. And then the, that might've been the first one I did right there, isn't it? Don't forget this one up here. Oh yeah, the one up above us, behind us, yeah. So yeah, these were ones we thought turned out decent. They're a mess, 
but you know they, they also kind of add to the look of the room this is the one Nikki was trying to tell me about and it's very dark up there right now I think that uh, Nikki's cousin Alan really likes that one Alan Oxendine you'll see oh, Alan yeah he's an art instructor isn't he so he sees something in that I don't know why once again it's all just he, he, he does anything uh, does, does that one uh, up there is another one of the textured ones that I use modeling paste on. I studied under a guy named Gordon Mayhee. Gordon Mayhee, and maybe I can find a link to him. Gordon was an awesome artist at uh, Mars Hill College. And so Gordon kind of inspired me to, uh, he do a lot of things with modeling paste. So you can see there's actually texture, there's actually raised portions of some of this and he would do these great looking uh, sort of oriental looking pieces of art he was just great at all kind of stuff gordon's gone now uh i'm trying to remember his, i think his daughter's name was Lori. she may still be around i went to college with her but her dad was just kind of one of my silent heroes and gordon would do this then like i said i don't think my stuff looks that great but gordon was awesome so there you go that's that one yeah, this is the huge uh, photo that I did. I think it's eight feet long, and that's Table Rock there. So this is all taken. Actually, I stitched, uh, gee, I'm guessing six photos together. And there were photos that were turned up this way, and I had to uh, stitch them together to create that. So that's from staying at a place called The Saddle uh, in between Table Rock and uh, short off mountain so i'm on my way to short off mountain looking back that's the chimneys area there which some of you have seen my my chimneys videos it's just, just an amazing spot so this was something we had this big wall here that we didn't have anything on i put guitars on it and and uh, that photo which is very nice and i'm gonna show one of nikki's photos she don't like me showing her her paintings but there's nikki's poppy painting i think nikki's a great artist too very unusual very strange little textures and things that uh appear in her art so awesome I had, I had to show them the poppy one i'm sorry it's pretty sweet all right hey what do you call that kind of painting over there the one that's got the uh there's some name for that that you painted what is that i don't know it's kind of an abstract for me that's very cool is it it's it I makes it makes me think of native american art when i see it. it's beautiful it's very nice that's also one of my favorite photos nikki took of me it's my hand play my old guild uh, d50 and we got some weird shadows and stuff on it i guess the light from the door behind me but nice piece of photography by nakanya i'm black and white at it it was a color photo but it looks nice kind of on her wall there that's by jamie griffin i'm gonna go ahead and show that jamie gave me that it's one of his drawings he did when he, i think he was like 14 years old and it's uh once again table rock You'd have to see it without the glare from a light on it, but it's it's very nicely done. I will show the painting of your or the uh, photo of your hand, Nikki. There's a uh, Nikki's hand playing her mandolin, and she's pretty good. I think she's playing G chord there, aren't you? Very cool. Okay, so that's enough of our little art for today. Peace to all.